it it seemed like it was about okay hi there today i'm going to talk about this leather bag and this was made by lamb leather goods and um, my friend Heidi, I've never actually met Heidi in real life, but I feel like I know her. And she has a YouTube channel called Leather Happy, and she's been doing bag reviews for years. And about a year ago, I guess, she decided to make her own bag, like many of us do. But she took it to the next level, and she has started a company called Lamb leather goods. So she took the things that she always wanted to see in a leather bag and has come up with several designs. And because she's had a lot of history reviewing bags and buying bags, she knows what she likes, she knows what she doesn't like. And so she has a line of about four or five different styles and she makes about two per week. And she'll post them on her Facebook page, so you need to follow her if you want one. And she'll say, I have these two available. They'll be on in my Shopify on or whatever she uses. I don't know what platform she's using um, on such and such day at such and such time. And if you're the first one in there, you get it. If not, you're not. So I've been watching her weekly post knowing I wanted a bag of hers at some point, but I was waiting for just the right one. And she posted about this one. And I thought that ticks off all my little check marks. And so I think I'll try for it. And boy, I was in there, Johnny on the spot, exactly at that moment, and was able to snag this bag. Let me tell you what the things were about it that I liked, and the reason that I decided this was the bag I was going to try to get. First of all, it's Horween leather. Horween is a veg tanned leather. It's a really um, high quality, high end hide. I believe the tannery is. In the United States. The other thing was that it was an east-west design and less of a tall north-south. really was looking for a two-handled tote and so this one came up and it uh, was a two-handled tote so I decided I liked that. Um, most of her bags are rolled and finished at the top which is a very good look but I like unfinished top bags. I'm just weird that way and um, so this one was not rolled at the top and uh, it has been burnished and so it's um there's there's an edge detail edge process that, that I can feel that they did to this they didn't leave it just raw they burnished the edges it it appears to me that that's what they did now what are some of the features this bag has besides having two um, sturdy these are thick but they're not totally stiff. Um, I've carried this a few times and they, they already have some flop to them. The handles are from a different hide and I'll put that information up here. Inside the bag, and let me unload it here. So inside the bag there are two, two drop pockets, one on each side. This one over here has her logo on it. So it's not over logoed. The logo is on the inside, not the outside. I like that. It didn't come with a crossbody strap, but one could be attached. I don't think I'll do that, but just nice brass, solid brass hardware on where she's used hardware. Her rivets are brass. They're not copper and they're not uh, double cap rivets. They're, they're, um, they have a spur on them and you clip them and you hammer them down. And um, most of these that you'll see on bags are copper. These are brass, and brass is harder to work with, and I'm really impressed with that. <laughs> wow, I'm really impressed with that. There are no feet on the bottom, which I like. Um, it is a simple inside stitch design. And she hand stitches these. I'm talking about needle and thread, saddle stitch, stitches these and I've done a little of that myself and I know how much it hurts <laughs> and so I'm really impressed with the fact that she um, she hand stitches these and she does a great job the stitching is very even she obviously goes to a lot more care than I do when I hand stitch something um, the ends have these little reinforcement pieces that you can also attach a crossbody strap to 
it's I mean it's a simple uh, tote design but it's very well made and um, you know a tote doesn't have to be complicated to be beautiful as a matter of fact I think most of the simpler totes are the more beautiful I don't like a lot of pocketing I don't like a lot of hardware I don't want chains and things hanging from my bags if I want something I'll make my own thing and hang it from my bag but um, this one is is just fabulous she only uses the best leathers she sent me some uh, scraps of some of her leathers in the past and I uh, use them in my Collie Wobbles Designs um, leather accessory store this is one I just made for somebody. She uses a lot of um, buffalo and really good tanneries like Kodiak and Horween and just she has a really good eye and knows how to feel uh, a good leather and knows what it's supposed to feel like and um, so she she has sent me some of those to use in my projects. I really appreciate that and um, so you can see how that would look if it was hanging on this bag but i uh, i also do offer the premium leather tassels in my collie wobbles store and um the way you find these is it you just search the word premium in my shop and you'll find the ones that are made from the leather that heidi sent me if you wanted to get a sample feel of what her leathers feel like that'd be a good way to do it check out her youtube channel leather happy check out her facebook page i'll link it below it's uh, lamb leather goods and that's how you find when she's going to have uh, bags available and i mean she's got several different styles for something for everybody and she's even got a drawstring and uh, some other things so be sure and check those out you can look on her on her her selling platform which i Think is Shopify but I'm not sure you can look and see what she's made in the past but everything will say sold out but you have to be you have to be on her Facebook page to know when she's gonna drop a couple of new ones and it's about every week so she's she's pretty busy with all of this so I will put the dimensions of this bag up here and maybe a few more details will pop up throughout the video here you get a good look at the front look at that leather isn't that beautiful it does scratch but the scratches tend to just rub out there are wrinkles which i love these hides that she picks are full grain or top grain and so they do have high character in them they have uh, flea bites wrinkles stretch marks all those things that make a good leather bag in my opinion this tote is very photogenic and i have been using it a lot in my um photo shoots for my my tassels and bag charms so uh, maybe i'll pop a few of those up here but it does it looks great um just on your shoulder or sitting on the bench beside you it's great and it has that great real leather smell and i believe i have one other bag that's a horween so now i have two horween leather bags they are they are special and uh, so if you have a chance to pick one up be sure and do that but any of her leathers are fabulous excellent leathers so don't hesitate go and support small business um, lamb leather goods is uh, woman owned u.s owned small business made by hand small batch high quality so go check it out and you'll have a great day bye bye